That visual depiction includes any photograph, film, video, picture, or computer-generated image. We may sometimes try to treat our students as adults. But in the eyes of the law, a minor is any person under the age of 18, no matter how mature, regardless how responsible. And according to federal law, the term sexually explicit covers everything from images of simulated sexual intercourse to indecent pictures of a minor's genitals. Laws are changing in some states to protect minors from being branded as child pornographers and convicted felons. In Ohio, a proposed law would reduce sexting from a felony to a first-degree misdemeanor and eliminate the possibility of a teenage offender being labeled a sex offender. Some other states are taking similar action, but not all of them. More importantly, a misdemeanor still means a criminal record for students who eventually will be seeking college admission or employment. Most students simply don't comprehend how much is at stake when they send a sext. This is why students should receive information about sexting and about the laws in your state. Then perhaps they will make an informed decision. Here are some guidelines you can offer students as a way of lending them your support. Tell students to immediately delete any sext they receive. For no reason should they keep or display the sext to anyone. To share the sext with anyone would constitute distribution. Some of the most painful consequences, emotional, social, and legal, are from the extensive forwarding of sexts. Tell students to report all sexts in order to protect themselves. They should not be afraid to tell an administrator about what they received and who they received it from. But for this to happen, your school must create and enforce a carefully detailed policy